Autonomous GPT, a badass open source project that has been dominating the GitHub training page. It was developed as an experiment to demonstrate the power of GPT-4 and allows the user to define a role for the AI and provide a list of tasks to execute. As an example, you can tell the AI to look up upcoming holidays and then create a unique recipe based on that holiday. The AI will then connect to the internet, look up holidays, create a recipe, write to a file and shut down once the task is complete. In this video, I will show you how you can set up AutoGPT locally. Let's begin. For the prerequisites, ensure that you have Python 3.7 or later installed. Lastly, we also need Git installed as well. Then, create a new folder on your PC and open the command prompt. We can then copy the URL to the AutoGPT repo and in our command prompt, enter git clone and then paste in that URL. Press enter. After cloning is complete, we can open up the AutoGPT folder and we can then open up the command prompt again in this folder or cd into this folder. We then need to call pip install dash r requirements.txt. Press enter. After installation is complete, we then need to edit this environment template file. First, we need to rename the file by removing the dot template in the file name. If you get this prompt, simply say yes. Then open up the .env file in an editor of your choice. In the environment variable file, we need to provide our OpenAI API key. Optionally, we can also provide an 11 labs API key for translating text to voice. First, let's set up our OpenAI key. For this, go to platform.openai.com and register your account. From this dashboard, click on Personal, View API Keys, then click on Create New API Key, copy your key, and then replace this text with your API key. Save this file. So in this demo, we'll ask the AI to go to Amazon.com and then look up the price for an NVIDIA RTX 4090 and then write the result to a file. So back in our folder, we can then enter python scripts slash main.py. First, we need to give our AI a name. I will call it shopper GPT. Then we need to define a role for this AI. I will just type a shopper bot. We then need to list the goals for this AI. First, we will tell it to browse amazon.com. Then find the price of an NVIDIA RTX 4090. Then write the price to a text file. Then lastly, shut down when the tasks are complete. We can then press enter. The AI will now try to execute these goals in sequence. It will give us information like its thoughts, its reasoning, its plan, as well as some criticisms. It will also ask us to confirm its reasoning by pressing Y. After pressing Y a whole bunch of times, the process has finally completed. We can see the output file by going to AutoGPT workspace and our AI has found the price on Amazon.com and it's written it to the file. This is very impressive and all, but having to type Y is not very autonomous. So what we can do is start this process again with Python scripts main.py, but we can also add additional arguments to this file by entering double dash, then continuous. When running the script with continuous set, we get this warning. This is because the AI will no longer ask us for permission or authorization to continue, and it will simply just run along. So be warned. I will execute the same command that we did earlier, but this time in continuous mode. This time, the AI was able to complete its task without our intervention. We can see the output of this run, and we successfully got the price back. Lastly, AutoGPT also supports the speak argument. This will convert the text to speech using the 11 Labs API. So what you can do is create an account with 11 Labs, click on your profile, and then copy the API key. Then back in your project, open up the .env file and replace this text with your 11 Labs API key. Then when you execute AutoGPT with the dash dash speak argument, the bot will actually chat to you in a natural, human-sounding voice. This has been AutoGPT in a nutshell. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to my channel. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.